When it comes to making decisions impacting the nearly one million public school students in the city, should the mayor be the boss? A new report from the state finds that parents and teachers feel they don't have enough say. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer with more on the report and what it means moving forward. When then Mayor Michael Bloomberg convinced the state legislature in 2002 to let him run the schools and pick the school's chancellor, it was regarded as a landmark reform that did away with the system of local community school boards often criticized for cronyism, corruption, and uneven educational standards. I know you have had some reservations about giving the mayor control of the school system. It is my job to show you that I was right. Now an evaluation by the state education department is urging a redesign because parents and teachers feel left out of the decision making. And with the need for the legislature to extend mayoral control by the end of June, state officials are urging lawmakers to revamp it, to empower student, parent, and teacher, create more avenues for meaningful deliberation and shared decision making, ensure more accountability and transparency, stronger principles of checks and balances, and establish a commission to consider reforms to the New York City Department of Education government structure. Mayor Adams, who hadn't been given the report before his weekly press briefing, slammed the methodology, insisting officials should give more weight to the great strides city schools have made in improved test scores and graduation rates. I'm concerned, is this more political or is it about the way we have done it and what Chancellor Bank has has done. I had the opportunity to question first Deputy Chancellor Dan Weisberg during a hurriedly arranged briefing after the report was issued. What would you say to the parents and the teachers who did testify at these hearings that feel that their voices aren't heard? The thing I would say, Marsha, to those parents is, what do you think your input is going to be like if there is nobody who is really accountable? Now, Queen Senator John Liu, the chair of the Senate Committee on New York City Education, said the report would be invaluable as the legislature decides whether to let the mayor keep control of the schools. Marcia, we both remember community school boards. Do you think it's possible that the legislature would actually end mayoral control and go back to those boards? Well, you know, we do. We both have covered that period of time, and I can tell you that nowhere in the report does it say you should end mayoral control. And as somebody who covered it, I can tell you that there's been great improvement in in the schools since mayoral control. Test scores are up and graduation rates have gone from 50% to 80%. My, my, my thought is that what they will do is they will increase the panel on educational policy, which makes all the decisions, add parents and teachers and call it a day. Maybe, but, maybe it'll make everybody happy, maybe not. There you go. <laughs> it's New York. Marcia, thank you.